Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Easy. Today we're going to take a second look of Royal Lagnical Flip Kit Watercolor 18 set. I did a first impression video of this paint two years ago in my channel. I will put the link on top of the right hand corner of this video and in the description down below if you guys want to watch that. After that video, I never really used this set that much or at all. The palette fan out or swivel like a Swiss army knife if you will. There's no pigment information about these paints or, or so I assume it's all dye based paint. As you guys can see, some of the paints have cracks on them or a piece that had fallen off due to not being used for almost two years. But if you use this palette for at least one to two times a month, this shouldn't be an issue. This set have 18 colors, a water brush, detachable sponge on top, and a mixing space. It's a neat looking palette. In theory, you should have almost everything you need to get started painting with this set. I'm gonna do some swatching in my sketchbook and keep in mind this is just a swatch for me to see the colors of the paint. Swatching doesn't, you can't really tell how well the paints work from just swatching them. You need to actually use the paints to actually see if it's the right one for you. The colors in this set didn't come with any names or any description so I'm just gonna swatch them in order so the first color is white and this white is not opaque at all or once it dries it becomes transparent this white is really good for mixing or pastels keeping that consistency of the paint that milky consistency and it's really good for that all right we're gonna go jump right ahead to pros and cons pros it has 18 colors, enough to mix lots of other colors or even if you choose to just you know, do minimal mixing, it's enough. You have enough colors in this set. Came with a water, a water brush, it's, it's a very convenient, you just put the water in the reservoir and you can just use it. Detachable sponge, you just use it to like wash your water color brush your water brush and then you just clean it off and then reattach that sponge and you can reuse it again affordable and accessible for younger consumer that do not have access to online shopping as it can be found in most walmart here in the united states but not all walmart carry the same stuff so some walmart will have them some won't so you're just gonna have to look around and it actually the paints re-wet easily and I was surprised I thought I was gonna have a hard time um, picking up pigment from this set but it re-wets easily and it dries matte not chalky at all yeah that's one well, a big one for me it's not chalky and it doesn't have any weird texture so that's a plus for me it's color layering capability usually depend on what paper you use it on on my first video my first impression of this video the paper i used this on was like it just didn't really let me layer that well so that kind of affected how i feel about these paints because i like layering so yeah but uh, after ha giving it a second look for these paints i used it on multiple different kinds of papers and it does layer it layers pretty well it layers okay it's not bad and it's pigmented enough it i have no problems with how much pigment or how vibrant the colors are and it has some mixing space for you know on the go mixing and the cons the paints are all fan out but it's sometimes when they're all fan out like some of the colors at the corners it's kind of hard to reach and for me the mixing space provided at the very back it's pretty small for what i need because i usually tend to mix a lot Who do I recommend these paints to? I recommend these paints for beginners, 
someone who do not have any paints yet and wants something accessible that they can grab now and use now because they can just go to Walmart and pick one up I find this set way better than the tube the watercolor tube paints that you can find at Walmart right next to this one so I recommend that if you're looking for a paint I would suggest getting this one instead of the, the tubes that you see at Walmart it already came with a water brush and a mixing space and as always I recommend spend more money on paper than paints as the paper will determine how well your paints paints or paintings will turn out even if you use the most expensive paints and use it on a not so good paper then you will still have a hard time painting with a fancy paints in my opinion and from experience and in this painting that um, you guys are watching now um, I used a Stratmore visual journal and it has a hundred percent cotton it's a mixed media paper the the range of this paper is kind of like mid-level like it's not bad and it's not like the best and I specifically picked this paper because I'm pretty sure if you're just starting out you're not gonna have the best paper right away so I picked this one as my mid-range paper to use it worked pretty well on this paper except the fact that this paper buckled a lot and I used quite a bit of water and and yeah this paper gave me a little bit of a hard time with the amount of water that I used because it buckled a lot I actually had to like flatten it out to be able to work properly on the face area and as to be expected as a beginner set uh, there's um, color shift from wet to dry it's usually like vibrant when it's wet and then it dries to somewhat like a little bit dull kind of lighter color it's kind of kind of common to watercolor especially for the beginner level paints so you shouldn't be alarmed and alarm about that but if it's still too light for your liking you can just go ahead and layer another one or just keep in mind that it's gonna dry lighter so start off kind of like you know stronger stronger um what do you call this so basically more paint more pigmented pigmented wash because you're already expecting it to dry lighter i hope that makes sense And for the for this painting that I'm doing right now, um, I did a dark skin girl, and I don't even know. I'm not even sure why I did this because first off, I am not used to painting darker skin tone, and on top of that, I don't I don't think or I am not really good at doing afro hair like that texture of the hair so i don't know why i did this combo it's almost like i was setting myself up for failure but at the end of, at the end of it all i think it turned out okay i'm pretty pretty okay how it turned out and i learned i learned some things along the way overall i had fun painting this piece and i will let you watch the rest and i will see you guys in a bit Here's a few pieces that I did with these paints and this is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I somewhat help you decide if you want to get these paints or not and I hope it's somewhat entertaining and yeah if you guys have any questions just comment down below and I will try my best to answer your questions. 
and i will see you guys later thank you for watching you guys have a good day and easy out